Hi everyone, I'm Fabio from Higher Hertz Project and today I'm gonna show you the brand new Dual Cube LX amplifier by Boss. This is really small amplifier, but inside you can find amazing features. Let's start say that you can use this amplifier in really different ways. So this amplifier is for different um, users, in my opinion. First of all, you can use this for practicing for example, for a bedroom guy, you can practice a really low volume, let me say zero volume, because you have the output of your headphones. So you can use this like a normal audio interface. You can record directly, so you can use this without make any noise, without use the built-in speakers. You can use the Boss Dual Cube LX directly to record uh, with your DAW because you have the USB output so you can record directly. You can use this basically in a live stage, small stage because you have the line output and you can go to a PA system or you can use itself live because you have a 10 watt of power which is really enough to play live. You have two speakers, four inches and 5 watts per each speaker so you have 10 watts of total power and you can really really play live so in this way i'm thinking about a street artist that is playing in a street you can really get loud volume with this amplifier let's talk about the features so here on the top you have the main panel you have stereo input this is great because you can send basically two different instruments or you can send also a backing track and you can play backing track thanks to the stereo speakers then you can select between seven different amplifiers plus a microphone preamp and a stereo input you have a shared equalization volume treble bass middle and the gain of the amplifier and each of these uh, knobs will behave differently according to the uh, amplifier you are using in that moment okay then aside you have the effect uh, compartment so you have two different knobs the first knob is the modulation effects you have the chorus flanger phaser tremolo and heavy octaver and secondly you have the delay and reverb for this reason in my opinion this is a bit limited because for example, how is really common to use a delay that goes then to a reverb? You cannot do that because you have delay and reverb in the same knob. So you have to choose or delay or reverb. Talking about the reverb, you have a really large hole reverb and then you can choose also spring reverb. You have, of course, as I already told you, the dedicated output for your headphones and the dedicated volume for your headphones. And lastly, you have the master control. You can find also two buttons here that will light up. One is called tap and will be your delay tap tempo. And the other is called memory. This memory will light up in green, red, and yellow color. And these are three memories that you can use and you can manage per each amplifier so overall you have 27 presets that you can save on board of this amplifier talking about the rear panel you can find of course the usb that you can use to record directly uh, to your DAW. you have the foot switch that you can use to manage all the presets so the all the uh, color of the presets and also all the channels and you can use also for the looper before start and showing you all the samples and sounds that you can get with this boss i have to mention that you can use this boss dual cube lx also via bluetooth with your iphone or ipad you have the uh, app that you can download and you can see the editor basically is really similar to all the boss editor but the uh, boss uh, adapter is optional so you have to purchase separately the Bluetooth Boss adapter if you want to use with your phone. So let's start listening some sounds. Let's start with the first amplifier, which is the acoustic simulation, and then I'll talk it about. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really like this sound because I think that with this emulation, with my Gibson Les Paul, you can really get really similar acoustic sound. And I really like how it bright uh, can be. Uh, you can really listen the string of your instrument. Let's now switch to the clean channel. Let's listen how it behaves. Really pristine clean, so let's switch now to US combo and this will be really similar to a Fender style sound. Let's listen. <laughs> Also crank a bit this amplifier and I think it sounds really really great. Let's now switch to the Brit combo. This will be a sound much more focused on the UK style. So like a Vox for example and like a, a British JC Ham 800 from Marshall. Let's listen. sound i really like it let's switch now to the high gain stack this will be more like a martial style but with really high gain sound <laughs> Oh! 
to the metal stack, this will have a completely different voice, guys. Let's listen how it sounds. <laughs> Amplifier. This will sound really great in my opinion, really great sounds, really like um, angle, let me say. And you can really get scooped sound with this amplifier. Let's listen. <laughs> Of course, you can choose also mic, preamp and stereo in. So guys, I think it's a really interesting amplifier, really light, it's really light and sounds really, really great. About the live situation, I forgot to mention that you can use this also without the power supply. The power supply is included, is the original by Boss, but you can use it without any power supply, without any cable. You don't need the power. So you can really use this in the street because you can use basically eight AA batteries. So guys, this was Fabio from Higher Heads Project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.